so we are going to collect this organic layer in a clean dry Erlenmeyer flask drain it down and we can rinse the sub funnel as we did before with a little bit of ethyl acetate and now we have all of the acid component in ethyl acetate sitting here once everything is drained take the Erlenmeyer flask out and add anhydrous sodium sulfate as we did before remember just keep adding swirling the flask let's always have some waste beaker under the sub funnel swirl see if it clumps up we went through that with our neutral component so we will do the same here we will add enough sodium sulfate so that there is some sodium sulfate still left free floating in the solution. So once we have reached that stage, we are going to put that aside. Cover the anhydrous sodium sulfate jar, put that away. Now this layer, the neutral component layer, which has been sitting over sodium sulfate for a long time, is definitely ready to be filtered. So let us set the filtration process going. We are done with the sub funnel, so we will take this out, put it aside, put the waste beaker away. What we want to do is take a 100 ml clean and dry flask. Remember I showed you to have these two flasks ready. You want to have the weight of this empty flask noted before. That means you want to take a teared 100 ml round bottom flask. So take a clean dry 100 ml flask, pre-weigh it, note down the weight. And then we are going to filter this solution into this 100 ml round bottom flask. Filter what off? We are going to filter off the sodium sulfate so that we can evaporate off the solvent from here to get that solid neutral component back. So we want a funnel and we want a filtered paper. The filtered paper that you are going to use is the fluted filter paper. Remember preparing the fluted filter paper for recrystallization experiment. So prepare a fluted filter paper in the similar fashion place the glass funnel on the ring make sure that the stem of the funnel is sitting inside the round bottom flask place the fluted filter paper inside the funnel and filter the solution Most of the sodium sulfate stays back anyway, but we want to make sure that we rinse this flask and its contents with pure solvent. To ensure that we get all of our neutral component back in here. So rinse it a few times. And now we have our neutral component in ethyl acetate in this round bottom flask. Once all of the solution is filtered off, we are ready to rotovap this solution here. What will it do? It will remove the solvent, leaving behind the solid neutral component. Once you finish rotovapping, if you weigh the round bottom flask with its solid contents, 
and you already have the weight of the empty flask, the difference will give you the amount of neutral component that you were able to extract from your unknown mixture. So this is my neutral component in organic solvent. We can put it aside carefully. And then we can do the same thing with our acid component. This has been drying. You want to filter this, of course not using the same funnel, of course not using the same filter paper. You want to get a clean funnel and get a fresh piece of filter paper and make it into a fluted filter paper. Filter this solution into the second round bottom flask that you had kept ready for your acid component. Again, this round bottom flask has to be clean, dry and pre-weighed. So do the same thing, pour it through the funnel with the fluted filter paper, rinse the flask with a few milliliters of ethyl acetate and then you will have your acid component in the solvent which you will rotovap to get the solid acid component back. Reweigh the flask with the solid, the difference will give you the weight of the acid component that was present in the mixture. So the two flasks will have two solid components after doing the rotovap. Of course you will do the cleanup of all the glassware as prescribed to you, where to throw the organic waste, where to throw the aqueous waste and so on. So that concludes today's extraction experiment which we used to separate the mixture of an acid and a neutral component by extraction.